thank you for QCT giving us uh, this opportunity here to come and talk to uh, talk to you about Broadcom and in particular about the Switch products. Really excited to be here today. So, um, listening to some of the themes this morning, right, um, in terms of flexibility, in terms of innovation, in terms of agility, uh, in terms of openness, I think. Uh, as you will see, uh, you know how Broadcom Silicon is playing into these themes. So I think it's it's a it's a great uh, uh, set of themes that I heard this morning, and I'm really glad that what we are going to be talking here today it kind of lines up with some of the things that was talk, talked about this morning. So primarily, I want to talk about the Merchant Silicon and how it is enabling the data center transformation today. So this is a, uh, you know, uh, from Delore. As you can see, this is a Delore report from 2016. As you can see, um, you know how Merchant Silicon over the course of the last decade, right? Earlier it was, you know, like the leaf, then starting to release spine and core on the uh, switching side, as well as on the routing side. And all the way up to the transport, you will see that Merchant Silicon is making its way in all of these platforms. And the question is, why, why, why is this happening? How is this happening? And then that's, that's what I would like to talk about. So if you look at you know, what's the impact of Merchant Silicon in this revolution, primarily there are four things that come, come into play here. First is obviously the, the economics or the cost or the cost to our end customer, right? What used to cost, let's say for instance, as example, uh, a 48 port box, what used to cost about 40,000 is roughly about 4,000 now. So that's about a 10x improvement in, in CapEx. The second uh, point here is the innovation cycle. Previously it used to take roughly about four years to bring out new products. New, uh, now today with Merchant Silicon, we at Broadcom, we are seeing it's about 12 to 18 months. And that allows you know, for agility, faster time to market, um, and, and uh, customers can manage their own technology transitions in this, uh, uh, with, with faster innovation cycle. Bandwidth scaling. Uh, previously, it used to be roughly about uh, 1.5 every generation. Now you see of the order of two to two and a half times uh, in terms of bandwidth scaling. So you see more and more services you can deliver, higher uh, performance, uh, obviously, and that leads to increased revenue for, for our customers. Operational efficiency, you had vendor lock-ins, you had you know, vertically integrated platforms. Now, we heard this morning on the code architecture, it's a disaggregated hardware software architecture. So we enable that with, with the full set of silicon that we have. So, so now uh, vendors have to build you know, fewer platforms that are much more flexible and can address a lot more uh, use cases. So this leads to uh, lower OPEX, you know, ease of management, supply chain uh, you know, mitigation or risk mitigation and obviously leads to increased uh, profit. So if you look in the last decade, right, um, here are some of the statistics. Over 2 billion Ethernet ports share, you have 250 million uh, gigabit Ethernet or 10 gig ports share, uh, about 10 plus million on 25 gig Ethernet ports share. And Broadcom has been uh, a number one merchant silicon for Ethernet switching since 2003. So we've been here since the beginning of the revolution. And QCT has been one of our partners for over a decade in this, in this revolution. Um, and we are designing to all uh, major platforms at OEMs and ODMs. So what does the scale mean to customers? Um, first, you know, we have the broadest portfolio in the switching, uh, switching market. We have what we call as the XGS family of devices. This is, if some of you are familiar with it, it's the Trident and the Tomahawk family of devices. We have the DNX family of devices, which is the carrier grade, uh, uh, 
carried rate switches that goes in the carrier infrastructure, what we call as Jericho, Jericho 2, and so on. And we have the Strata Connect, which is for the small, medium business. So we have a very broad portfolio, and that creates a robust ecosystem. You know, you have lots of ecosystem, lots of partners, and QCT being one of the leading partners in this robust ecosystem. And with, with this robust ecosystem leads to increased, uh, you know, high quality. It is, you know, all the products are field tested, field hardened. So that leads to higher quality of, of, the, of the product here. Which in turn, if the product is of high quality, you don't have multiple spins, you can raise the product into the market. So that leads to accelerated time to revenue. So faster introduction to the market which in turn, you know, leads into more innovation. Like how do, you, how do you improve these products going forward? How do you reduce the power? How do you, uh, you know, add more capability into these devices? So that leads to innovation. So this is like the circle uh, that, you know, that keeps going. And Broadcom is one of the, you know, has the scale and the capacity to continue on, on this cycle. So looking at the product portfolio, um, primarily three main, uh, I, I would call out three main products here. Of course, there are lots of other products, but uh, three main products. First is what I call as the Tomahawk family. So the Tomahawk family, the main focus here, or the main factor here is the bandwidth. How can, if you look at uh, the uh, mega scale data centers, they, they want higher bandwidth, low features. They, they will take in you know, as uh, products uh, or switches as long as you can keep on increasing bandwidth. Then you have the Jericho family where scalability is important. This is for the carrier gate in infrastructure. Uh, some of the things that uh, Timon talked about this morning for the cord stuff, the edge stuff, we have some of these products going in that, in that uh, architecture. Then you have the Trident uh, family. These are programmable. Uh, feature-rich devices. This is for the enterprise data center. So this three set of pro three sets of products, you know, you cover a broad market in terms of the data center, the enterprise data center, as well as the uh, carrier infrastructure. Now, if you look in the last one year, you'll see we introduced several products starting from Tomahawk 2, Tomahawk Plus, Maverick, all different bandwidths for uh, cloud scale and enterprise and tour, as well as on the carrier side. The point here is that introducing this many products in a short span, right, like every year, like six products going into production, that can only happen with scale, that can only happen with execution. So, you know, and we continue to do this every year. You know, this is this year, next year we'll have more set of products and so on. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, execution. So, if you look at, uh, you know, we have customers that you know that um, have several ways of implementing. So, we have a wide set of products. So, here's an example of how you know customers implement their network. So for instance, on the, on the compute uh, cluster side, um, we have you know, uh, a Whitney Plus, that's a network interface controller. We have a Helix 4 for management. You have a Trident 3 at the top of rack. Uh, you can have a Tomahawk Plus for the spine or a Jericho Plus as a chassis for the core. Or if it's a storage cluster wherein you need a little bit higher bandwidth, um, you can have Tomahawk Plus, for instance, as top of rack with a Jericho Plus as a spine and another Jericho Plus chassis for the core. Or if it's the emerging machine learning clusters wherein you have 25, 50, 100 gig, you can have again a Tomahawk Plus for the uh, top of rack, followed by Tomahawk 2, which is a 6.4 uh, terabit device for, uh, for the spine in this case. So, the, the point here is that, you know, there's a lot of flexibility in how solutions can be implemented by, by vendors.
So if you look at uh, the bandwidth scaling of merchant silicon, so this is no mystery, right? <coughs> uh, starting from in the last decade, every uh, two to three years, you have, you know, bandwidth has been increasing uh, roughly uh, two to two and a half X. But the point here is that what's interesting is that the amount of time is shrinking. So previously it used to be about three years, you know, two years, and now it is shrinking um, you know, it's almost a year. So, in 2017, you know, uh, between 2017 and 2018, we'll be doubling the bandwidth again. And this is only possible, you know, with you know, with continuous innovations. Now, here's an example of that bandwidth scaling. So, if you look at the uh, uh, Trident Tomahawk family. Uh, you will see that you know in, back in 2010 it was a 640 gig uh, device, and today with Tomahawk 2 we are talking about a 6.4 terabit device, a 10x increase in bandwidth. Um, let me complete this. Here. So you have all these drivers that we heard this morning, the different workloads that are driving this, uh, deep learning clusters, uh, storage, uh, NVMe or fabrics or the well, uh, evolving rack port architecture. So those are some of the drivers. And uh, you will see that um, on the uh, innovation side, uh, you know, how do you enable this higher bandwidth ports? How do you reduce uh, you know, power? That, that becomes more and more critical. Um, new technologies like new packet buffer technologies uh, new uh, analytics. We heard about analytics this morning. So how do you enable these <coughs> types of capabilities in the device so that you can export the health of the network or the health of the device onto a control plane or an instrumentation plane? So uh, I guess I'm a little early. Actually, one slide is missing. <laughs> so. Uh, to summarize, um, so Broadcom, as I mentioned, we have the scale, uh, the, uh, the quality uh, in this Ethernet switching portfolio, uh, flexible architecture, uh, flexible to address flexible workloads and applications, and uh, the execution. So we've been on this execution treadmill uh, that we continuously, in a way, bring up new products and and. Uh, 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 QCT has been a great partner in this in this journey. I really appreciate uh, the opportunity here to talk today.